William Pitt Mason, as his name may suggest, is a descendant of history's famous William Pitt. He is a member of the Rensselaer Hall of Fame and a brother of the Delta Phi fraternity. As a student in the early 1870s, Mason's chemistry professor here was Henry Bradford Nason, a world-renowned scientist even before he began his Rensselaer career. Henry Bradford Nason was also a Delta Phi brother, invited to join by the fraternity a few years before, even though he was a faculty member. The professor saw great potential in this student, and when William Pitt Mason graduated in 1874, he became Nason's assistant and succeeded him as professor of chemistry at the Institute, remaining here until his retirement 50 years later. His dapper attire and distinguished style are evident in the photos of the time. William Pitt Mason's RPI career alone would have won him an honored place in Rensselaer history, but his impact is much greater. During the same 50 year span, he earned his MD from Albany Medical College and studied at Harvard and abroad, most notably with Louis Pasteur. He never intended on practicing medicine, but rather used the acquired knowledge as he continued his research in the fields of hygiene and sanitation. His broad background, chemistry, engineering, medicine, made him a pioneer and expert in the field of sanitation chemistry. While in Europe in 1893, he extensively studied the water supply systems of London, Glasgow, Paris, Rome, and other major cities, as well as the cholera epidemic of 1887. He was an author and member of many, many professional organizations, among them the American Water Works Association, of which he was president. His real contribution to the world was his work in the realm of hygiene and water sanitation, a great example of his insistence that cities must clean their water supplies can be seen in Albany's history. At about the time of the Spanish-American War, there was a typhoid epidemic in Albany. Mason met with city officials and said to them, quote, assume gentlemen, that a Spanish gunboat were to come up the Hudson River and shell the city of Albany and kill 15 people a day. You would raise heaven and earth to see that the gunboat were sunk and the destruction of life stopped. But here you lose 15 of your citizens a day from typhoid fever because you are taking raw water out of the Hudson River and pumping it into your mains, and you do nothing about it." End quote. For emphasis, he then put it a bit more bluntly, quote, the people of Albany can tell when asparagus season opens in Troy, end quote. He got his point across. William Pitt Mason died in 1938 at the age of 85. As noted earlier, he is a member of the Rensselaer Hall of Fame, so he continues to be honored by Rensselaer and, of course, by his fraternity brothers at Delta Phi.